All right, welcome today uh, to the SAP supply chain planning uh, using ECC and APU. Um, we have explored some of the uh, components that are required uh, for ECC. Um, and then we started into uh, APU uh, in our last class. Mm -hmm. And today, um, I will just uh, do a little review on that. Mm -hmm. And um, so we started, we started, um, uh, we started, uh, uh, you know, introduction into the advanced uh, planning and optimization tool uh, mm -hmm. within the SCP SCM system. SCM is supply chain management. Uh -huh. So, in introduction. Of course, we have uh, looked at how uh, what the uh, supply chain is, and um, we also had to further look at what the APO stands for. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now uh, I remember, you know, when we started this uh, training, mm -hmm. uh, we looked at this diagram, and uh, I did exactly. explain to you uh, what uh, it represents. Um, so, uh, particularly now, we're looking at the my SCP SCM. So, if you see here, you see that my SCP SCM is a standalone, is a standalone uh, system. Mm -hmm. Unlike the ERP that integrates several system processes, all right. The uh, my SAP SCM is a standalone, mm -hmm. and it's uh, a solution that was built by SAP uh, to solve um, or to further optimize the planning for supply chain. Mm -hmm. It works for more opti better optimization of the supply chain. Yes. So, uh, looking at my screen here, you see market challenges facing the supply chain. Uh, these were some of the reasons why, um, you know, further optimization too uh, mm -hmm. was required or is required. Mm -hmm. There are few. As you know, economic and technological environments are continually changing. The current pace of change in the economy and enterprises has its roots in the ongoing process of globalization. The speed of development of information and communications technologies and intensifying customer requirements. Mm -hmm. This constant pressure are forcing enterprises to forge new paths, optimizing the whole value creation throughout the enterprise, reducing product life cycle and expanding their range of products. There is therefore a need to have and utilize tools that can provide deep and broad insights into the supply chain and give better optimization to the process for more effective management Mm -hmm. is this need. SAP has provided an advanced planning and optimization tool within the SAP uh, SCM solution. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the ECC and SAP APU. Remember that ECC stands for ERP central component. Central component. Mm -hmm. All right. Now is a version of the SAP ERP solution that uses service-oriented architecture uh, that is up to, uh, used to automate, integrate, and optimize business processes 
in organizations. The execution of supply chain tax can be processed on the SAP ECC. Processes like purchasing, inventory, delivery, production. Data is transferred from the ECC system to the APU system for planning. Hmm. Okay, just to show you, give you a picture of uh, uh, the ECC system and uh, the APU and how they relate. Mm -hmm. SAP APU is a planning tool within the SAP supply chain management system. APU is used to generate forecasts that are used to efficiently manage the supply chain. <laughs> so, SAP APU now is used for planning, optimizing, and scheduling supply chain processes across the entire supply network. The supply chain network consists of internal locations like manufacturing plants and distribution centers, mm -hmm. external sourcing locations like vendors mm -hmm. and subcontractors, and external delivery locations like uh, customers. Mm -hmm. SAP APU integrates with SAP ERP, which is ECC, execution system where the planning results are executed. SAP provides standard real-time core interface. Now I need to be clear of that. Core interface, CIF. Mm -hmm. Right now, that core interface provides an integration, a seamless integration between the SAP ECC and the SAP APU. Right. Mm -hmm. So that is the technology that is used to integrate uh, the SAP ECC and APU. Now, the APU is a standalone system. Remember, that is within the SCM, but then uh, can come as a plug-in to the ECC. Uh -huh. um, we could also have the results of the APU uh, 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 transferred to other third party applications, if not ECC. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's hmm. also possible for an organization to be using uh, just SAP APU and uh, that's uh, SCM system within the SCM system. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, they just connect to other third party applications but of course if they connect and they are using ecc they will be able to maximize uh the potentials of the apu better mm -hmm. now sap apu sub modules do we are going to we are going to uh well I'll, I'll, for the training we are focusing on uh just two of them the demand plan and supply mm -hmm. work planning mm -hmm. then you have uh, uh about five sub modules within the scp apu mm -hmm. Okay, so the SAP provides five core modules that focus on planning and execution based on the business initiative and requirement of a company. You can implement all the modules in a phase approach or select only a module or two that deliver the highest value to the business. These core planning modules within SAP APU are following uh, 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 as follows. Uh, you have demand planning, uh, SAP APU DP. Mm -hmm. uh, you have supply network planning. Mm -hmm. Then you have production planning and detailed scheduling. You also have global, um, global available, to promise. available to promise, yes. 
then you have um, available to promise then uh, transportation planning and vehicle scheduling. Mm -hmm. uh, all these are uh, sub areas within the SCP <laughs> APO. Uh, for the demand planning, uh, it provides advanced forecasting and demand planning tools that enable companies to capture uh, changes in demand signals and patterns as early as possible. Uh, it is used majorly for forecasting, right? Uh, forecasting using uh, historic data. <laughs> then the supply, the supply network planning uh, that manages the supply uh, 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 aspect. You know, in um, in supply chain, you have uh, the, the the demand flow. You also have the supply flow. Exactly. What comes inside the company to produce, and what comes outside of the company to sell. To sell exactly demand uh, corresponds to what comes inside is that correct yeah demand demand uh, would come uh, or, um, two ways uh, really the flow the company is like like uh, just like a channel uh, because uh, you have the demand come to the company supply also come to the company but then, uh, because the company would receive supply from the vendor, but then in the context at which you you, you put it, uh, mm -hmm. so it is the uh, the demand that comes to the company, and then the supply goes out of the company because the company okay. is the one that would deliver to the uh, customer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this provides technical, tactical supply planning capabilities with integration to purchasing, manufacturing, distribution, and transportation, and create feasible plans for these areas in the global supply network environment. Different optimization engines are available, which run on hard and soft constraint supply chain models, balance supply chain costs, to several levels. You have production planning and detailed scheduling, provide manufacturing planning capabilities to plan materials and critical resources concurrently, provide optimization solver for sequencing and scheduling factory short-term plans. Now, uh, for production planning, uh, ECC, you know, also have uh, um, uh, plans like one of it is the MRP that we uh, when we are, when we are um, we are looking at the material master managing of uh, materials mm -hmm. you know we looked at MRP exactly all right so that is one of the then you have the planned independent requirements um, which also um, you can plan within the uh, within the ECC. Uh, we're, we're going to look at that uh, plan independent requirements. Then, um, of course, for the global, okay, this is supposed to be global uh, availability check. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I understand it. Right. Includes uh, the uh, material and capacity to. Uh, uh, to customer order enhance the supply chain performance. Uh, the process helps with improving on time delivery performance, sufficiently increasing stock to buffer inventory and planning system integration. Transportation planning and vehicle scheduling provides transportation planner to optimize, uh, optimally plan the capacity of transportation modes, e.g. like trucks, and schedule the routes for lower transportation costs. Mm -hmm. Provide functionality of shipment, consolidation routes, determination, 
career selection, multi peak, and multi drop. So um, we started uh, looking at the first phase, which is the demand planning. Uh huh. Which handles uh, forecasting and um, to understand the demand planning environment. Now, mm -hmm. uh, okay, so we are going to look at some of, uh, so this is the uh, demand planning uh, process, mm -hmm. uh, the circle. Uh, first, uh, you import relevant uh, master and transactional data, like historic uh -huh. data, analyze and prepare the data. You generate the forecasts and apply life cycle management. You plan promotions uh, and other events, compare and evaluate uh, the different scenarios at that time. Uh, you can, you know, have business meetings where you come to uh, consensus uh, and then uh, after reviewing the final demand plan, you can now release the plan. The final step is to release the plan to mm -hmm. uh, either supply network plan, uh, supply, yeah, supply network planning or to the SAP ECC. ECC. Mm -hmm. The central component. So to do this, you would, would you need to understand some of these terms. First is the, the key figure. So you're gonna be uh, we're gonna be using key figures. Mm -hmm. All right. Now these fi key figures uh uh, are customized within the SAP system, uh, within the uh, APO system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so um, when you uh, you come into your APO systems, you're going to see the key figures customized based on business uh, requirements. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it depends on uh, its quantity or maybe its monetary value. It's something that depends. Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, so you have key figures. You have characteristics. Uh, mm -hmm. Characteristics are the uh, planning objects such as products, brand, location, um, customer group and things like that. Mm -hmm. The region, uh, the, sorry, the master data of the demand planning or supply network planning comprise the allowed value of the characteristics known as characteristics value. Okay, location, values like that. Pardon? Like it says like, I, the master data structure contains, for example, uh, locations, the categories of the characteristics. Yeah, so characteristics, you could see uh, location, right? You could uh, see uh, the brand, mm -hmm. product, uh, customer, and things like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so these are characteristics, and because you know, when you are doing focus, you are doing focus based on these characteristics, uh, but uh, you are judging them based on the key figures. For instance, you want to uh, you want to find out uh, the uh, forecast of uh, you want to uh, have a forecast of the, of uh, sales of a particular brand. Right, mm -hmm. a particular brand for a particular location, or maybe a brand of a product for a particular location. Uh -huh. So you want to uh, you want to find out 
um, based on the historic data, you want to uh, find out uh, the projection of what sales will look like in the next one year or two years. Uh -huh. Right? So you put these. Uh, now, when you're doing this, you are going to judge the focus based on the key figures. All right? The key figures are like things like, oh, historic data, forecast data, mm -hmm. uh, sale, uh, promotion, um, corrected, uh, or correct, uh, correction, uh, 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 corrected history data, corrected uh, uh, forecast data, mm -hmm. you know. All these are like key figures. All these so, are key figures, is right, right? Yes, they are key figures. Uh -huh. So it could be, it could, it could also be value mm -hmm. in terms of, uh, in terms of, uh, uh, um, in terms of uh, monetary value. Uh huh. Could it All be right, so text? Could it be text like a qualitative uh, figure, like broken or intact or these things? Or that's a characteristic? It has to be numeric. Numeric, okay. Then you have the master planning object structure or M post, mm -hmm. which is the uh, master data structure that contains all planable characteristics for one or more planning areas. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, is like uh, is is the master data structure uh, that is used to uh, uh, you, uh, you, um, that is used to set up your planning area, and um, also uh, used to um, used to um, structure or will I say house house your different uh, characteristics categories within a, a planning area okay all right so if you are if you are setting up a master planning object structure uh, you're going to be indicating within that uh, uh, master planning object structure you're going to be indicating the characteristics for that mm -hmm. planning area. And you also have what you call the storage bucket profile. So all these are components that would have been created in the system before you begin to run your forecast. Uh -huh. Your demand uh, 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 planning forecast. Okay, so they would have been defined in the system. So today mm -hmm. we are going to define some of them. We're going to define uh, the master planning object structure. We're going to define the uh, uh, storage bucket profile. We're also going to look at uh, the planning area, which is used to link together all the other parameters. Planning uh -huh. areas uh, form the central data structure for the demand planning and all the uh, supply network planning uh, and are uh, the foundation for the planning book. Because mm -hmm. um, you also have what we call the planning book. You, you have seen all these things. Uh, so when we go into the SAP system now, mm -hmm. um, you're, going to, uh, you, you, you're, going to, you're going to recognize them because you have seen them. We, we used them the last, in the last class. The last slide, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yes, we use them in the last class, um, but then you know, uh, just uh, uh, introducing. I just wanted to see how uh, you know we we're trying to run a forecast that day. So it didn't run, but we are going to set up something today and uh, also run a forecast at least. Uh, so you can create individual user or department planning books. Planning books determine the content and layout of the interactive planning screen. 
you can use them to design the planning screen so that it corresponds to your planning requirement. The planning folder is based on the planning. Um, what we just did here now is to just define some of the terms of mm -hmm. the parameters that we'll be using uh, to uh, run our demand planning. Mm 